time you took on this convoy job, Cassidy. You need the money? No, it wasn't that. The boys and I just did it to oblige the mine owner. He's a friend of ours. Would you do something to oblige me? Sure, I'd be glad to. Help me get my wagons through to El Dorado. Well, the troopers will give you all the protection you need, won't they? They should. But I'd feel better if you were along with them. Oh, California's been telling you some tall tales about me. I'm not that good. I think you are. Another raid on my wagons will break me. Will you do it? Sure. <sighs> <laughs> What's on your mind, Hoppy? Somebody's trying to run her out of business. You mean you think someone else is trying to start a freight mine of their own to Eldorat? I don't know. Ah, oh, maybe I'm just imagining things. I hope so. Oh, I didn't expect you back so soon. Didn't you have a good time? Yes, but I missed you and Uncle Steve. My, you look pretty in that outfit. Thanks. Wait till you see the new petticoats I brought for you. Oh, Hoppy! Come here. I want you to know Diana Westcott, niece of my agent up in El Dorado. Well, howdy, miss. And this is Hopalong Cassidy. So you're the famous fighter. Well, well, you must be thinking of my partner, Lucky. He isn't very backward about being forward, is he? Oh, he's usually very shy. Really? Yeah. Jean, when does your next wagon train leave? Not until the troopers get here from Fort Snell. Troopers? Have you been having trouble with those outlaws again? Yes. Haven't you any idea who they are? No. But I'd give a lot to find out. After we take care of Jane Travers and the governor, we'll gradually grab all the freighting business. Yes, sir. We'll boost the tax so high, nobody will want to bring trade goods to El Dorado. <laughs> nobody but us. <laughs> well, we're all set, boss. Any further orders? No. Oh, except one thing. Don't start any more fires. Well, I was only trying to run that Travers woman out of business. Isn't that what we're after? Sure it is. But first, we want the money her goods will bring for more men and guns to take over this town. Oh, I'm sorry. But when I learned she'd sent for the troops, that fire seemed like a pretty good idea to me. He's all right. Good man. say death comes quick to anyone wearing a dead man's shoes. Oh, that's a lot of superstition, Pete. Maybe you're right. Gonna bury them with the owner. And that hat. That 
Some of the boys take the troopers to camp. We leave for Crescent City as soon as I'm dressed. Spencer reporting for escort duty, Miss Travers. Oh, I'm sure glad you got here. Now I can get my wagons rolling. <laughs> Lucky, will you show the boys to the stables? You bet I will. Right through the gate, fellas. Boys, you! What's bothering you? I've always seen troops sent out in squads and sections. The first time I've ever seen a detail of 12 men. I wouldn't worry about that. Maybe they figured Miss Travers only need 12 men. Yeah, maybe. All right, I'll show them where the barn is. Thanks, Hobby. Suicide. Me commit suicide? Uh, <laughs> That's one in you, Hoppy. This gun ain't been used in 20 years. Hold it. Soldier, I didn't know the gun was loaded. Well, you know it now, so you better put it away before you hurt somebody. He's right. You'd better be more careful in the future. You better will. That's a close call you have there, uh... Sergeant Spencer. Too close for comfort. Lucky. Round up the boys. We're heading back to the bar 20. Well, Harvey, the wagon train's pulling out in the morning, and besides, it's... Well, what's got into him? I've never seen him walk out on a job before. Maybe he's afraid of the big, bad banditos. Who are you talking about? Your friend there. Well, take that back, if I were you. Take what back? Back. And the rest of you fellas that think Hoppy's yellow will step right up. Thought I told you to round up the boys. What's 
the matter, Harvey? Oh, it was just a little ruckus. Oh. It's all over now. <laughs> hey, uh, Miss Jane, I don't think the boys and I can go with the wagons. Uh, we're heading back to the ranch. You mean you're quitting now? But why? What happened to make you change your mind at this time? Well, uh, I just happened to think, uh, I remember Buck Peters wanted me to do something at the bar 20. I'm, I'm sorry. stakes are sudden, but you can bet your bottom dollar he ain't yellow. Get busy, Luke. We're leaving early tomorrow. why Hoppy brought us out on this wild goose chase. Didn't you hear what he said about those soldiers? Sure I did, but I still don't think they're bandits in disguise. Well, what about that hombre with J.F. stamped in his hat that calls himself Spencer? What about the bullet holes in that trooper's coat and cowboy boots on some of them? Well, what about it? He could have traded hats with another trooper, couldn't he? Lucky, you're just pee because Hoppy drug you away from that girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boy. Come on, I found the path. It's an 
army button. Lucky, Lucky, come here. for every mean thing I said or thought about you. Oh, forget it. I'm just glad we got here in time. We all are, Hoppy. And you know how grateful I am. But where in the world did you round up all those men? Oh, we just picked them up back then, Hill. There comes the whole gang now. Nice work, boys. Hoppy, with your brain, you're wasting time riding range. Miss Jane. I mean it. Just the same, I wish they were real men. Then I wouldn't have to go back to Crescent City. 
Well, you don't have to worry about them outlaws. They think you got a whole army with you. I hadn't thought of that. Well, if you say it's all right, that's enough for me. I'm going to El Dorado. You know, I've got an idea I'm going to like that town. Come on, let's get moving. trick of yours sure worked out fine, Hoppy. Where'd you ever learn it? Oh, Buck told me about it. That's the first time I ever tried it. Unhitch him, boys. I gotta eat. Diane's just been telling me what happened. I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am. Well, it's all over now, but we wouldn't be here if it weren't for Hoppy. Lucky. No, oh, I... I just can't begin to tell you, gentlemen, how much I appreciate everything. Oh, that's all right. It's just part of our job getting the wagon crew. <laughs> well, I admire your modesty, but I want you to know that I personally will never forget all that you've done. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you want us to get the gold bullion in the office now? Yeah, will you please, Hoppy? All right, come on. Oh. <laughs> that cold shoulder she gave you in Crescent City didn't seem to stop you. Oh, I got over that the next day. Yeah, you heal pretty fast as far as women are concerned. Yeah, and... Oh! Yeah, I admit she's kind of pretty. Pretty? Oh, yes, yeah, she is pretty. There, take it easy. Hi, Carmen. Hello, California. Well, well, well. Give me some of them frijoles. Not frijoles. Frijoles. Well, frijoles or frijoles, Enchiladas give them to me. guacamole. Huh? Enchiladas or guacamole. Give me the frijoles. Uh, holy. Ah, looks good, eh? California, I love you. Forget about it. Hey, give me the beef. Come on, ladle them on. Give us a little, will you? It's an outrage, a shocking outrage that honest citizens can't carry on their trade without fear of being attacked. Yes, yes it is. You haven't any idea who the outlaws are, have you? No. No, I haven't. If I did, I wouldn't rest until they were exterminated. No, of course not. If things keep up as they are, the wagon trade will be ruined. Yes, it looks that way. Don't it seem kind of strange to you that none of the other outfits have been raided? Strange? Yes. Perhaps. But they will be. In 
In all things, there must be a beginning. Yeah. Also an ending. Come on, Lucky. We got work to do. Those outlaws are sure a Thor on his side, aren't they, Hoppy? So? What's on your mind? Where are we going? Going over and have a talk with the governor. Governor? Senores, some of your people are blaming mine for the attacks on the wagons. Ill feeling is growing between them. It is to eliminate this feeling, as well as to keep the wagon trail safe, that I have already sent for troops to hunt down these outlaws. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that, Don Pedro. I know the outlaws are not of your people here, but I think they're working from here. You mean from El Dorado? Yeah. Say, do you think, uh... Are there any Americans around here you think might be mixed up with the outlaws? I am not aware of any, senor. Those of your people who I know are my good friends. Have you forgotten the Ranchero Martin, amigo? Oh, my good friend, Fray Sebastián. Me, el Señor Cassidy, el Señor Jenkins. Siéntese, padre. No, no, gracias. Allí mismo. Say, who is this Martin, anyhow? One of your countrymen, senor. A man without principle who seeks power and wealth. He pretends to be Don Pedro's friend, but we have heard he has been stirring up discontent among the people. I hesitate to think evil of others, senor, that this Martin, well, El Dorado could do very well without him. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this is none of my business, but uh, why do you put up with a man like that? Why? Because, senor, I hold myself to be a just man. I have no definite evidence that Martin is making trouble in El Dorado. But when and if I do, it will go hard with him. You think he might be mixed up with the wagon raiders? Of that, I do not know. But whether he is or not, let me assure you, I will do my utmost to keep the trade route safe from bandidos. Oh, I'm sure you will. And you can count on us to give you all the help we can. Come on, Lucky. Please, say nothing about the troops. Their secret arrival will help us both immensely. Right. Goodbye, Father. All right. Remember that. You know, Hoppy, looks like Martin's the fellow we're after. I'm not so sure that he is. That is, that he's the top man. At it again, huh? Come on, fellas, have some frijoles. Free what? For some free, uh, some beans. We don't like frijoles. Well, Carmen. What are you? You got it for now. You eat him free. Free. Uh, ah. <laughs> all he thinks about is booze, and all you think about is women. Uh oh. I'll see you later, Hoppy. Uh, Go for a ride. Oh, hello. Yeah, I thought I would. Well, here, let me help you. Okay. Everything checking all right? Yes, it seems to. Good. Well, how do you like El Dorado, Mr. Cassidy? Ah, oh, fine. What I've seen of it. Say, uh, I just got an earful about a fellow by the name of Martin. You did? Yeah. Who is he? Oh, one of the rancheros around here. I don't know him personally. But I understand he's trying to do good for the poor people of the neighborhood. Oh, one of those reformer fellows. Huh? <laughs> well, yes, I suppose you'd call him that. Well, I guess he can be so bad, then. No, I don't think so. No. Well, I'd rather want to force him on. Well, Gemini. 
nice ride? Well, we didn't go for a ride. We went over to see the governor. Tell him what he said about sending the soldiers. Well, there's nothing to tell. Well, sure there is. The governor's sending the troops to clean out El Dorado and to guard the wagon train. Isn't that great? Yes. Say, that certainly is good news. Of course, it isn't supposed to be aired around, but I guess there's no harm in telling you. I think you can trust me to keep a secret. Of course you can, Lucky. Exactly. Not exactly, but he does know. The governor told us to keep that quiet. Do you remember? Yeah, but I didn't think that... Wait a minute. You didn't think. Since when did you start that? I guess I'm always blabbering when I shouldn't. Open your mouth. Open it big. Now keep that closed and keep these open. I say sent for troops. What do you want us to do? We won't wait. We'll strike before the troops get here. Have you gone loco? You know we haven't got enough men and guns yet. And if we wait until we do have enough, we may be too late. Well, wait a minute. That might be pretty risky. It's taking an awful chance. Sure it is. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll tell you what. You keep the men here. I'm going in to see the governor. brings you here at this time of the day. You should be busy at this tocade. Oh, I know that, Don Pedro. But I couldn't wait to tell you of an idea that came to me. So, let us sit down and tell me, amigo. Thank you. Do you uh, recall telling me how badly you felt about the brewing rift between your people and mine? Si. Well, I'm as worried about that as you are. And I think I know how you can restore harmony between them. How? Tell me, amigo. Why not give a bailey for the whole town? Then they will be able to really understand one another and forget their animosities. That is truly an inspiration. I will proclaim fiesta and invite everybody. I am delighted. Lost it in a poker game. I, uh, 
Uh, well, uh, anyways, when I caught up with them, they started blazing away at me. But I walked right into them. underneath the table. Yeah. There I was. Under... <laughs> uh, they started blazing away at me. All twelve of them. I thought you say six. Six? Did I? Let me... There was twelve. Yes, sir. taking charge here now until a new governor is appointed. What's more, you're under arrest. Take him out. And you, Miss Travers, you've been conniving with Don Pedro to cheat the people of El Dorado. For that, I'm confiscating your property and placing you under arrest, too. Oh, no, you won't, you warlike. Take her to the castle. Wait a you cause enough bloodshed. Take him and his men away. Come on. You two go along with him. Wait a minute, Wescott. As the agent for that Travers woman, you're probably as guilty as she is. But I just happen to remember, you've always been a good friend to the Peonis. For that reason, I'm going to let you go. Thank you. People of El Dorado, I'm your friend. Nothing's going to happen to you. But until a new governor is appointed, you'll have to obey me. Understand? Now, you can either stay here and go on enjoying yourselves, or you can go back to your homes. However, all Americans connected with the wagon trains will be escorted to the stockade. I'm sorry, but they'll have to remain there for the next few days. Cassidy just got away. Let's get these wagon men to the stockade, then we'll search the town for him. Come on! Come on, you Get moving! Come on in. You'll be paid. Your place? See. Uh, I'll see you later. Some 
something we can do to help them, Uncle Stephen? Well, I'm afraid not, Diana. Not now, at least. Oh, don't take it so hard, dear. I don't think Martin would dare harm Jane and the others. However, I'll have a talk with him tomorrow and see what I can do. I think I'll go to my room now. Good night, Uncle Stephen. Good night, dear. We've done it, Steve. Shh. Well, Ed, I've sure got to hand it to you. Everything worked just like that. <laughs> now, if things will just go as smoothly when the troops get here, we'll be sitting pretty. Hey, don't worry about that. I'll have a dummy governor send them right back to the capital. What are you going to do with Don Pedro and the others? Shoot them. Then we won't have to worry about them in the future. And if any questions are ever asked, why well, they were shot while trying to escape, understand? Where do you want me to line them up at the camp? That's right. Did the men see Cassidy? Were you gentlemen looking for me? You've been pretty clever, Westcott. This is the ending I mentioned. My beloved uncle. Well, you're nothing but a cold-blooded murderer. Don't move, Cassidy. Tie him up. Put your hands behind you. Sebastian? See. Si. Would you tell him Cassidy wants to see him here at once? Si, senor. What's wrong? Didn't Miss Jane and the boys get away? Well, that's just the trouble they didn't. Now get out of that TP and get them windows covered. TP. Stan Westcott letting the Padre come here. He's liable to talk. Yeah? You mean he's liable not to talk. You ready, boys? Yeah. 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 All right, let's go. Come on.
attention. Get ready. Hold everything. Yeah, no funny business. Get our equipment together, boys. Too. 
Wouldn't you like to say goodbye to him? Yes, I would. Thank you, Hoppy. You're welcome. Well, looks as if I could stay in the freighting business. Yeah, and it looks like you could handle it, too. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on. Oh. Give me a hand here. Carmen. Oh, that Carmen's a fine girl, but this time I'm giving her the slip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>